This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and good news for those of you who like a classic Intel NUC. This is the Intel NUC 12 Pro. Pro because it's for business professionals, they figure, that kind of thing. It's not a gaming PC, obviously. Now, when I reviewed the latest edition of the Intel NUC Extreme, some of you are pretty bent out of shape because they made that thing physically larger. So here's your classic little NUC. And though we're a mobile tech review and we review, well, mobile things like laptops and stuff like that, tell me this isn't mobile. I can stick this literally in my sweatpants pocket. This makes my Surface Pro 9 look kind of bulky, right? So this is an entire PC in here, and we're going to look at it now. So as ever, this is a mini desktop PC. It might come with a power brick style non-charger, but power supply that looks some, like something for a laptop. It's 120 watts, but it is indeed meant to be a desktop. The good news about that means, well, you know, you don't have to worry about the things you worry about with a laptop or a Surface Pro tablet, which is heat and power. Both of those are the bane of existence of laptops, right? So here, power is not an issue. It's always plugged into the wall. And when it comes to heat dissipation, because they can custom design the case for heat dissipation and have lots of grills and mesh everywhere and you don't have a display panel getting hot or a dedicated GPU and all that sort of thing, it can really perform well. Generationally, I'm seeing a significant improvement here between the last generation model and, well, this one, single core and multi-core. Sometimes single core doesn't progress that much, but like 200 points better on single core in Geekbench 5, for example. And... <laughs> An improvement of thousands of points in the multi-core, which, you know, is to be expected. Last generation was four core, and now we have a 12 core. Now, granted, it's a combination of P, performance, and E, low power cores here, but it's a lot of performance, and it's faster than most laptops you'll see with a p-series processor in fact a p-series processor usually is a 28 watt and this one's running at 35 to 40 watts baseline and it can go all the way up to short period boosts up to 64 watts of consumption or more not bad you have Intel Iris XE graphics on board here. This is meant, again, for your desktop, productivity, slash business PCs. So instead of your IT person lugging this giant desktop in, they come with this cute little thing and toss it on your desk. Uh, but if you did want a game, of course, you could use a G eGPU because it has two Thunderbolt 4 slash USB-C ports on board. Yay, that. It also has two HDMI 2.1 ports and no mini display port on board, but you can use the USB-C ports for that. So up to four monitors if you want to do that. Pretty crazy, right? So as ever with Nux, it's not that you're getting one because it's cheaper than other things. In fact, it's typically more expensive than budget desktops. Are you paying for the engineering, the miniaturization, the performance, all that sort of thing. And it's sold bare bones, or you can buy it from simply Nux.com and other retailers, e-tailers, some of whom are on Amazon. We'll have some links in the description so you can see those. And the cheapest I found for our Core i7 model was $709 with 64 gigs of RAM, but no SSD or OS. And then and there's a, another um, reseller who's on Amazon, who I've listed below as well in the description, who has a variety of Core i5 configurations with your choice of a bunch of different RAM configurations up to 64 gigs, various SSD capacities, and Windows 10 Pro on board. You know, one odd thing I noticed, that, that, that first model that I mentioned, the Core i7, that they put some RAM in for you and nothing else, it mentions it doesn't have a power cord. And I thought, that's pretty weird. I mean, these are universal little power cords that you plug into laptop chargers. You can pick them up on Amazon if you needed to. Ours didn't come with one either, and it came as a review unit direct from Intel, so that's weird. Anyway, I think most of the builders who are selling these probably are sourcing the cord and including it in there, but just something to note. And as ever with these little nucks, a Visa mount is included. So if you wanted to clamp this to the back of a monitor or a TV or whatever, you know, you get the idea. Media center, PC, hello, that sort of thing. So yeah, you're talking at around $700, bare bones-ish, kind of, sort of, all the way up to, you know, $950 if you have somebody else put the RAM and SSD in. But putting those in is kind of fun. It's part of the point of having a nuck, and it's only four Phillips head screws away. So we're going to take a look at how that's done now. To get inside, there's just four Phillips head screws inside the rubber feet here. You just unscrew them and you can lift that off. You can take the top cover off, say you want to paint it or swap it, you know, with one. And you just yank, there's little grab tabs there, and you just yank on it and you can pull this off. And that's what you see there and your CPU and cooling are underneath there if you really want to tear this completely down, repaste it or something like that. And that just snaps back on, but let's take a look at the internals. So just grab it. 
And then there you go. Take off the bottom cover. Notice the nice little copper heat sinks here and the, well, the heat tape goo stuff to help the SSD out. And here are the internals. So we have obviously to test this, put in RAM and SSD. Actually, Intel supplied those for us. So here's your boot drive, which is NVMe. It's a PCIe Gen 4 SSD, a full height. Then you get a 80 millimeter. Then you get a SATA 3 SSD, and that is a 42 millimeter height. The Wi-Fi card is actually underneath this SSD. You can see the little wires leading to it. So it is a socketed card if you want. Now there is a taller model, I believe, of this, which Intel has done before, and that gives you room to have a 2.5 inch drive bay inside if you want. And these are our two RAM slots, so it's up to you. Anything up to 64 gigs of RAM, and this uses DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM, not DDR5. Keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it. You can see why it's pretty easy to do if you want to set this up yourself instead of paying somebody else to do it, but the choice is yours. So for those of you who are at all into tinkering, you can see it's it's pretty easy to go and put your own parts inside of this or upgrade it after the fact. The CPU is BGA style soldered on board like a laptop CPU, so there's no upgrading the CPU after the fact, alas. So when you're looking at this little guy, one thing also to keep in mind is lots of ports, plenty of USB-A ports, and you've got, again, the two HDMI 2.1s and the two Thunderbolt 4s, which work for monitors as well. You've got a headphone jack facing out the front. You've got some handy USBs out the front. So gigabit Ethernet, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, which is Intel branded as well. And Intel Wi-Fi AX211 Wi-Fi 6E is included as well as a socketed card with Bluetooth on board. So it's certainly, once you put the RAM and the SSD and the OS, and a very turnkey and very complete system. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this vid.